This is meant to be the best mango sticky rice in all of Bangkok, possibly even Thailand. Let's go inside this Bangkok restaurant and see what earned it its Michelin rating. Gore Panic has a Michelin rating, but what makes me really excited is the story behind it. The recipe itself came from the Royal Kitchen. It's now been passed down, and someone who used to work in the kitchen now owns the shop. There are rumors that people from the palace still come down to Gore Panic just to get more of the sticky rice for themselves. So as well as mango sticky rice, you can also get fresh mango here. We just got three of these delicious looking mangoes for only 100 baht. I'm really excited about them too. Keep an eye out for these historical signs around Bangkok. They're where you're gonna find some amazing restaurants. The sign says this has been here since 1932. That's a really long time. We're talking about around 90 years. Whoa, that's a lot of mango sticky rice. I've just been over the road. All I was gonna buy was mango sticky rice, but so much of the food looked delicious, so now I've got a whole bag full to try. I'm really excited about it. Gore Panit doesn't actually have any seating, but we noticed this really nice spot just over the road. I popped on over and I talked to the loveliest woman who's serving street food, and all I got was a water since I've got so much food. Now we've got this really, really lovely place to sit. You can probably see and, well, hear all the tuk-tuks and other cars going past too. I wish you could just smell the amazing street food scent. It seriously smells so good here. I can smell garlic and chili in the air and it's just making my mouth water. It smells so good. Okay, now I'm gonna show you, but more importantly, I'm gonna try all of this delicious food I just bought. Let's have a look. First up, I'm gonna try this. Okay, first up, we've got some classic sticky rice. This one comes with a little sachet of like sugar. Maybe it's palm sugar, I'm not sure. And it also comes with this coconut milk, which you're meant to drizzle over the rice. I really love coconuts, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's put it over the rice. Now I'm gonna add some of the sugar over the top. I'm not sure whether you're meant to do this first or not, but I decided to do the coconut milk first. Let's do this. I'm just gonna mix it in a little bit, and you can probably see that the coconut milk has already started sinking into the rice. It looks really delicious. I'm really excited to try this one. It's really nice and really coconutty. It's not as sweet as I was expecting. I think there's like some salt mixed in with the sugar as well. The coconut flavor is really coming through, but what I really love is the texture of the rice. It's like really chewy, like a good sticky rice should be, but it's still kind of soft. It just has a really nice coconutty flavor. That's really delicious. It's good. After this, I'm really excited to try the mango sticky rice. That's what got this place a Michelin rating. Now I'm gonna try this one. I've never tried this before. It's a Thai style custard. Apparently it's not very easy to find it in Thailand, so you should always get it when you see it for sale. I've never actually encountered anything like this before. It's made from egg and it's quite squishy. We've got the usual stuff to go with it. We've got sticky rice underneath. We've also got the delicious coconut milk to drizzle over the top. I'm really excited to try this one too. Looks really good. I'm just gonna see what the Thai custard tastes like by itself. That's really good. It's really sweet, like really, really sweet. It's soft, it kind of melts away in your mouth and I do get the egginess coming through. I did check with the man if this one was vegetarian and he just said yes and that it had egg in it. So there you go, Thai custard with egg. It's really good. I just need to drizzle some of the coconut milk on it now and try that too. I'm gonna try a bite with everything on it. The sticky rice, the Thai custard and that delicious coconut drizzle. It's so sweet and all the textures go together so well. We've got the softness of the Thai custard and that delicious stickiness, that chewiness of the sticky rice. That's really good. I definitely see why you should buy this if you see it. Really nice. Now I'm gonna try this. The color is a little out there, but the reason I was so interested in trying this one is because it looks a lot like my favorite Thai dessert, which is Kanom Krosh Bai Thoi. This one looks like almost like a jelly and it's a lot heavier than I was expecting. I think it's probably pandan and it might have coconut in it as well. Let's give it a go and see what it tastes like. My spoon just like is sucked right in. That looks so gooey and so delicious. It's really hard to get any of it out. It's like, it's so gooey and so sticky. Maybe I'm not doing this right. I don't know, but it looks really good. I'm just gonna use my fingers. I just can't do it with this. <laughs> that smells so good. Okay, let's try it. Mm. 
I really like that. It's so much like my favorite Thai dessert. It's like super coconutty, really gooey in your mouth, really chewy and nice. And it kind of melts in your mouth a little bit as well. It's just so sticky. I don't know if you can tell, but this is like super gooey. It's all holding together. It's all wobbly. It's kind of like a bit like jelly. I really like that. That's really good. I like that one a lot. I actually can't taste the pandan that much. It's more of a coconutty taste, but the texture is really good though. It's really gooey, a little bit chewy. It kind of melts in your mouth at the same time. Never actually seen Thai street food like this before. That's really good. I'd definitely try it again. Okay, now let's try the mango sticky rice. This is what made this Bangkok street food restaurant so famous. So we've got the mango over here. We've got the coconut drizzle. We've got sticky rice. And in this little sachet, we've got some crunchy beans to add to the whole thing. This is gonna be so delicious. First, I'm gonna drizzle the coconut milk onto the sticky rice. It's already starting to soak into the sticky rice, and I'm gonna put the last wee bit onto the mango. Now I'm gonna add the beans onto the sticky rice, and then we'll see what the whole thing tastes like. Okay, let's get a big bite of everything and see what this tastes like. I'm gonna add the mango and I'll get some of the sticky rice and beans. Ooh, man, that looks good. Let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> wow, the beans are so crunchy. They're so crunchy. They're still going. You get the real sweetness of the mango and the coconut and then these crunchy beans on top of it. This is literally the best mango sticky rice I've ever had anywhere in Thailand. This is absolutely delicious. If you're in Bangkok and you wanna try mango sticky rice, you absolutely need to come here. It's pretty obvious why it's Michelin rated. This is so good. I could just eat this all day. It's so nice. I've never had beans in mango sticky rice before and it's really unexpected. You just get that lovely crunch coming through. This is my favorite thing I've tried today. I can't even describe how delicious this is. It's so good. So apparently one of the things that's really special about this place is they use Nam Dok Mai mango. These are like the sweetest mangoes that you can find. They're what restaurants use to make mango sticky rice. And the ones here are just amazing. Like they're so sweet. It's so good. Mm. And it's not just the mangoes that are special here too. The rice they use is from Chiang Rai, which is all the way up in Northern Thailand. I've heard that it's the best rice that you can get from mango sticky rice, but I don't know too much about it. Maybe you know more. I'm not really sure. All I know is this tastes absolutely incredible. Literally the best mango sticky rice I've ever had in my entire life. It's so good. All the food I tried today cost 270 baht, which is just over eight US dollars. If you want to see more Bangkok restaurants and street food, give this video a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.